All right, what's up YouTube? Quick video update of the K24 Civic. Wanted to show you guys how we got the hood all closed up with the turbo kit finalized. Looking like nothing ever happened under that hood. What I wanted to share with you guys in this video is the OEM style ground kit for a K-series swap. I'll be sharing with you guys the part numbers and the parts that we're using to make it look nice and clean without using those uh, flimsy aftermarket kits that are out there. So here's my old grounds which were really bothering me. I still got to get the third one out of there. Um, I am going to be replacing this one for a new one. That look up there was bothering me at the uh, battery post. And then obviously these were nice and old as you can see here and broken. Uh, they were still working but since we're going to finalize these touches on the car I figured I might as well clean it up now. Everything's buttoned down as far as the turbo kit, um, everything in our coolant system, uh, oil drain, oil feed, uh, turbo, piping, um, cold side and hot side. So just waiting for cool weather so we get this tune on the car and start getting some nice content out there. And I'll show you guys here what I was talking about. This is what the old one looked like. Now, there is a lot of explanation to some of these parts I'll be using. One of the main explanations being that if you're gonna use this, this OEM battery, which I've been seeing a lot of you guys use on your cars, uh, the new style has a picture in the front of the Honda emblem, so the poles sit at the back. Uh, what I did was I used the ground, OEM ground from a 2002 Honda Civic which allows the post to sit back using the OEM ground location here. So we'll go ahead and install our first ground and I'll just do it real simple. I'll just kind of show you guys and then I'll just go back and tie in everything down myself. Um, the kit will come with the original hardware as you guys can see here with the OEM 10 millimeter bolts. You're gonna bolt your first one here to the chassis here and then you can send this wire down as you guys like and then just place it uh, wherever you'd like um, here on my battery uh, tray it has the original um, may I say like a zip tie or clamp type thing so I clamp mine down there so when you do a ground kit on a K-series you want at least three grounds one to your engine one to the manifold and then one to the transmission. Now, if you guys are gonna be utilizing this ground kit to the battery, as you guys see, it did come with the extra extension and this is again factory. You're gonna take this to the valve cover and that's gonna be your first ground here at the valve cover. Let's see if I could do this one handed. All right. And that's gonna be your first ground as you guys can see there factory nice and clean you guys will be able to keep the Honda logo on the battery and then on your battery wire this is real easy just kind of tuck it back there and then you got yourself power and ground now for the transmission and the intake manifold like I mentioned it's gonna be the part number here same thing 2002 Honda Civic ground and I'll show you guys where I'll be uh, mounting mine to the transmission and the manifold the simplest way. Um, you guys can get a little bit more fancy and tuck it in other locations if you would like. This is just a simple way of showing you guys how to get it done. So if you guys are running a RBC intake manifold, you guys will see right here. That is a 10 millimeter location there. And I will show you guys uh, the way I install mine which you guys can use for location as far as the uh, intake manifold ground. All right guys, so there's our first, uh, or may I say second ground, which is to our intake manifold. Uh, it went right next to the headlight. There's gonna be a stock tin there. And then like I mentioned on the manifold, you have a stock tin location there. Now for our transmission, everyone will have this transmission bracket here. Um, you can bolt a 10 millimeter to it and if not you could find another location on the transmission but this is my favorite location I go from that transmission bracket down to that 
10 millimeter location there so I'm gonna go ahead and install this one and show you guys what it looks like and again same thing same part number and like I mentioned it all will be all up on the website including the stock hardware all right so there is our third ground which is going to be to our transmission from the OEM bracket back to the chassis here in the OEM 10 location so real simple real clean OEM style ground kit uh, just sharing another gem with you guys I hope you guys appreciate this one I do have a bunch more content coming we did install 2009 Civic SI four-door front and back seats real nice and clean OEM bucket style so I will be sharing with you guys on the next one make sure you catch that video to stay updated so we do have a couple more small things to do like add our O2 sensor um, button down a few wires inside the uh, chassis as far as the computer goes for some of our sensors um, hope I was able to help you guys with this small gem I do appreciate the continuous support we do have a bunch more updates like I mentioned so make sure to stay tuned and stay updated